So I have to tell you about what the Orange Hats saw last night. We went to a place called Studio 5 in Brooklyn. Uh, it's on Classen Avenue. It's the home and workspace of a very interesting and peculiar man, uh, Per Bra. He comes from Denmark, and he works with masks, masks which he designs and has custom carved for him in Bali by mask makers. Now, last night, the studio was open for an event called One Night, One Chair. Uh, we found audiences there lounging on the floor, enjoying Brooklyn Lager, and soaking in the talents of a very eclectic group of artists. So, uh, let's check it out. What are we doing? Orange hat. Orange hat. <laughs> Okay, so uh, the the initial idea came from uh, a, a dancer who was a friend of mine in Thailand. Her name is June, and uh, she there were there were a bunch of us who were really serious artists, and she said, "Why don't we do something where we all have one chair and we each go?" And I came back here to the studio in Brooklyn and thought that it would be a good idea because we never got it done over there, and the tweaks we made on it were that. We wanted we wanted everyone to be able to share, have a space where they could share their most their 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 intimacies, uh, and and who they were and what they think about and what they what they think what they feel, um, and to do it in a way that wasn't so much performative, but was also entertaining. Uh, and those two words are actually the last on the list. So we said, okay, we do four people, 30 minutes each, one chair, and we call it One Night, One Chair. That's what it's called. And um, I do the introduction to bring in kind of the energy. I'm kind of the, uh, the, 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 you know, the... I'm Budman. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm the opening, you know, the priest. I'm the announcing the call and everything like that. We've had everyone from composers, jazz musicians, dancers, poets, um, actors, singers, writers, everything, writers to come in and to uh, share what they do. And I think that what's important about it is that, number one, it's low tech. I mean, it's not Broadway. It's not off-Broadway. We call it off-off-Brooklyn. That's what we call it. Everyone sits on the floor. Everyone has beer because people drink beer. I mean, if a theater does not allow alcohol in their theater, they're fucking themselves. And I'm sorry I said it that way, but they are. Because people drink, and art tends to sound more interesting when we drink, sometimes. So people sit on the floor, they have beer, they have water, and uh, we relax and we share with each other. And we get rid of that fourth wall as much as we can. The more truthful a person is, the more we want to watch. And I think we look for that in our art also. And uh, it doesn't, you don't have to be signed, it doesn't have to be a big paycheck, it doesn't have to be a huge audience either. It's just you, the space, and whoever's there with you. And that's what this whole thing is about. And I think that that's why it's gotten so big. And, and because we know some fantastic people who, they may not be the best artists, but their life, the, the living of their life, has given them something very um, interesting to watch. It's given them something um, that resonates with us, a life that's lived, and we were watching that life. And that's what the whole thing is about. That's, that's what I think. So what did you think? Oh, it was fucking amazing. Like, we, we, there were four different performances. We got to see a uh, uh, reading of a sh uh, Edgar Allan Poe story, which is amazing. Awesome. And uh, we saw this uh, uh, dandy, which is great. So informative. Totally told you about your style and what you got to improve. And we saw, who was it? Oh, a guitarist and his singing. Good, moving, touching. And then uh, Pear Bra told the story of his terrorist grandmother, which was great. You gotta, you gotta come to Studio Five. It's the best. You gotta, you, you're missing out if you don't. Yeah. Like, great opportunity to network and meet people, and you know, good company, uh, good times. We're here for um, one night, one chair, fourth installment. Pear Bra is the owner of this space. We're in his apartment right now, and he has a loft next door. To you. Danish master, master. <laughs> <laughs> 
misogyny, masks, and wanting to heal the world and yeah. being really good actors. Yeah. It was just really fascinating to see um, such good work, I guess, and it wasn't mainstream, it wasn't a theater, it wasn't, it was just an awesome space in Brooklyn and this big, big, huge studio apartment, uh, studio apartment where people just came and told their stories and just shared themselves with us. It's a great opportunity for people to showcase what they love, what their passion is, and what they do. And you have an audience that is just captive and creative and wanting to be a part of this creative element. An exploration of humanity, I think that's what they're really all about. I heard one of the artists who performed two weeks ago, I think, say that this is the first time where she actually was like, wait, hey, people are actually listening to me, actually like, wanting to hear what I have to say. And, like, I just came back from one night, one chair, and it was uh, pretty fucking amazing. It's a very inspira inspirational place to come to. Sometimes you're just living in life and you feel kind of um, lost and you don't really get enough of what you really want. And following this art is more of an expression and you kind of lose that sometimes and that drive and motivation. And coming over here, it's almost like you're finding a sense of community and you see all these other artists and how they are just there to inspire you and you're all working together to reach the same goal. And it's, it is a very loving experience to be here and to share that. It's a lot of empathy going around here. And um, it's just fucking great.